So you've made the decision to move your family up to Star, Idaho, but you want to make sure that you choose the best place to live. In this video, we are going to talk about exactly that. I'm going to share with you five of my favorite neighborhoods and subdivisions in the Star, Idaho area and why I think they might be a really good fit for you. What's up guys, I'm Chase Dolan, your Boise Realtor, and in this video, we're gonna talk all about Star, Idaho. We're gonna go through five of my favorite communities out there. We're gonna talk a little bit about what makes them unique, what makes them special, but also why you might wanna take a look at them as a future potential resident. All of this is just in the hopes that you've already decided that Star is the place that you wanna be, but let's make sure that you pick a very specific place in Star that you don't regret just a little bit down the road. And to get started, we're gonna talk about a local favorite that's a little bit more established. We're gonna talk about Heron River. So Heron River is located on the eastern side of Star right before you get into downtown if you're coming down state. It's gonna be nestled right alongside the Boise River and it's a master plan community that's been in the work for quite some time. It's gonna have a total of 575 home sites and the entire subdivision is broken up into these little distinct kind of pocket neighborhoods inside of it. So as you're driving through off the main road of the neighborhood, you're gonna see things like the meadows at Heron River, the preserve at Heron River, Creekside at Heron River, so on and so forth. There's quite a few of them and each of these pockets are gonna have distinct characteristics. So as you're driving through, you're gonna notice that each of these is just a little bit different. It might've been that a different builder was building there because that was a certain phase of the neighborhood. You're gonna have waterfront parts of it. You're gonna have more of the patio home style. You might have different builders, different levels of builders, different price points, different lot sizes. Everything that could be encapsulated you're gonna find them in the little pockets of the neighborhood. So it's all Heron River, but living in the preserve at Heron River is gonna feel very different than living at the meadows at Heron River. And this can be really cool because if you're looking for something in Star and you like Heron River, but maybe you don't wanna live in somewhere that has a little bit of the smaller lot, the patio home setup, you might find something like that in the neighborhood itself. It's not the exact same setup all the way throughout. There's a little bit of diversity in the type of home that you can get. Now, across the neighborhood, you're gonna have lots that range from 0.12 acres, which is a little bit more on the smaller end when we're looking at subdivision lot sizes, all the way up to some of the large lots here are gonna be at 0.44 acres. There are gonna be some of those home sites that back up to a pond, so it's a little bit of that lakefront experience. There's gonna be certain lots that are in a gated portion of Heron River, but outside of just the residential lots, Heron River actually has 75 acres of protected open space really set up to preserve it for wildlife and the people that live in the community. One of the things that makes Heron River so desirable and just a gorgeous community, and you'll see it as you're driving through, is they have got a ton of different water features at the different entrances of the neighborhood, big ponds with fountains in them. They really do that to add another layer to the landscaping and again, give that community just a unique feel compared to all of the other subdivisions popping up. In the center of the neighborhood, you're gonna have the club at Heron River, which is where you're gonna find your clubhouse, you're gonna find your community pool, there's gonna be an indoor gym, there's gonna be tennis facilities, you're gonna have a playground, there's gonna be a picnic area. All of that is just there in the center to give residents a place to go, congregate, and really feel like they're having a good experience in the neighborhood. And then on the edge of the neighborhood, you're gonna have the village center of Heron River. So this is where you're gonna find retail, you're gonna find new restaurants. This is where Ridley's, one of the big grocery stores in star is located you're going to have some services like dental vision those sorts of offices there and all of this was done in the hopes that again it gives the residents of the community a sense that they have everything that they need in very close proximity now talking about housing and real estate right now in heron river the median sales price is going to be around seven hundred and seventy-five thousand. With the high end on some of those waterfront lots, the gated portion, the bigger lots, high end luxury homes, those are gonna get up towards that 1.6 million range. And again, one of the things that makes Heron River just a gorgeous and really cool opportunity when I'm looking at it is when you're driving through, it's gonna feel like a very mature neighborhood. There's massive trees, the landscaping is nice and lush, but they're still in the new construction development. They are in their final phases. So this is one that if you want a new home, you like Heron River, this is gonna be one of your final opportunities, but there's still a good number of them ready to go. Now, let's say those pond kind of waterfront, lakefront types of lots really, really stand out to you. 
That's gonna lead us into our second community that we're gonna talk about. Let's talk a little bit about Star River Ranch. So Star River Ranch is gonna be on the western edge of Star after you go through downtown from Heron River, but it's gonna be just alongside the Boise River. It's gonna be quite a ways off of State Street, which gives it a nice private secluded feel. They're gonna have three massive community lakes that have homes kind of along them. And these lakes are gonna have public access, except for one in the back around their estate lots, which is gonna be private to just the homeowners of that section. Star River Ranch is gonna have a pool and a clubhouse. They're gonna have some solid green spaces. They're gonna have canals that kind of run through the majority of the neighborhood and that's the main draw of Star River Ranch. It's a great fit if you're looking for that high-end luxury build maybe you want just a little bit bigger of a lot but you don't need something that's a half full acre but you want to back up to something like a canal. You want a pond behind you to give you some separation from the people that live behind and Star River Ranch matches all of these criteria and is one that I have clients fall in love with all the time. I just had a client wrap up a build out there and they absolutely love the community. The community is still in the building phase. So you're gonna see that about half of the community looks like it's done. So there's gonna be a ton of opportunities for different lots. There are various builders out here. So you have kind of your pick and choose depending on what you wanna do. And then on average, you're gonna have lots here that range from about that quarter of an acre size all the way up to in some of those estate lots in the back with that private lake you're gonna be up towards that 1.25 acre range. Once all said and done, Star River Ranch is gonna have around 121 home sites that will be developed on, and that includes a chunk of those estate lots. And when we talk about pricing, homes here are gonna start in the mid to high 800,000s, and they can just trickle up from there. So this is one that if you have a little bit more of a budget and you're looking for something a little bit more unique, and you like the concept of being a little bit away from all of the hustle and bustle, Star can be a really good middle ground for that super small town, not a ton of people, but you're still only 15 minutes from downtown Eagle, 10 to 15 minutes from the northwestern portion of Meridian. Again, Star River Ranch, it's just one that people tend to fall in love with. And like I said, I just had some clients wrap up a build out there. So this is your reminder. I am a local agent up here in the Boise, Idaho area. So if you have any questions at all about moving to Star, you like any of these neighborhoods, whatever it is, all of my information is down below. I would absolutely love to help. And if you're watching this and you like the content, you're learning something, hit that subscribe button down below. That way I know that this resonated with you. But staying on that same thread of Star River Ranch, we're gonna go right next door to a brand new community that is just to the west of Star River Ranch. We're gonna talk about River Park Estates. So River Park Estates is a brand new development by Boise Hunter Homes. It is situated very similarly to Star River Ranch where you're gonna come off of State Street a little bit. You're gonna have a solid little drive back to the private portion of the community. But one of the things that makes this stand out from Star River Ranch is this community and its residents are gonna have access to about a half mile of property right along the Boise River. And then back in the community, you're gonna find four different massive ponds, lake setups, but they're all gonna be stocked so that if you wanna go fishing, all of that can happen in the neighborhood. They really wanna have that water recreation sort of setup, give you some of that nature that you moved to Idaho for right in the middle of your neighborhood. Once it's completed, River Park Estates is gonna be a little bit bigger than Star River Ranch. They're gonna have around 320 total home sites including some of these waterfront home sites that will be available. Some of the amenities in the community, they're gonna have a pool and a clubhouse. They're gonna have two large parks that are gonna be created. They're gonna have a playground, a covered patio, kind of picnic area. They're gonna have some open grass area that will eventually be used as athletic fields. They're gonna have the green belt for that river access and then all sorts of walking paths throughout the neighborhood. Now, like I said, this one's at the very beginning of their development, so they've just started building up some of those initial homes. But pricing out here is gonna start in the 800,000s and it's just gonna go up from there. On some of those bigger lots, you might have some more luxury upgrades and then you're gonna have the waterfront. You're gonna see that the pricing here is gonna get up into that 1.6 to 1.8 range. So obviously there's a little bit of a large gap there that you will end up in the center of, but that's gonna give you an idea of the level of neighborhood that they are trying to provide. But at this time, you would basically have the pick of the litter when you're looking at the lots. So this is definitely one to keep in mind. Now, let's go a little bit away from the Boise River. Let's go to the northern edge of Star to talk about the fourth community today. We're gonna to talk about Kalina Vista. So Kalina Vista has been one of my favorite subdivisions in Star for quite some time now. It's a really great kind of ridge tiered setup of a subdivision where it kind of is up against a hill 
each street is just a little bit higher than the next. I absolutely love these setups because it allows most of the lots to either A, have a great view of downtown star, looking off the farmland, the Owyhees in the distance, or if you're on the other side of the street, you're gonna be looking up towards a hill, which makes it a lot more private. And you're not just having, again, that normal house smack dab behind you. There are gonna be multiple builders that have built in this community. On one side, you're gonna have a lot more of those semi-custom level builders that have been done for a few years now. And then on one side, which is going right now, you're gonna have a big chunk that is Toll Brothers. So Toll Brothers is wrapping up the final bits of new construction out here, but there are still quite a few home sites for you to pick at. So if you like the new construction side, you actually want to make those selections. Kalina Vista is still going to provide those for you. The community itself is going to offer a community pool with a cabana. You're going to have a playground for the kiddos. You're going to have walking paths all throughout the community. And then you're going to have some solid open green spaces to go out and enjoy. On average, lots here are going to be around that fifth of an acre with some getting a little bit bigger. But like I said, with the way that this neighborhood is set up, all of the lots are going to feel a little bit bigger than what they actually are because whenever you're looking out and you're seeing blue sky, that is a very different feeling than just seeing the house right behind you. Once development is completely done, there's gonna be around 209 home sites in total across all phases, with pricing on the low end starting in the mid 500,000s. And like I said, there are still new construction opportunities available with Toll Brothers. So if you wanna pick out a lot, pick your own floor plan, go to the design center, pick out everything that you want in the home, that is still an opportunity for you. And for our final community that we're gonna talk about today, let's go out to a brand spanking new one on the southern edge of Star. We're gonna talk about Inspirado and a couple of the surrounding developments that are just getting started. So Inspirado is gonna be located right off of Chinden and Star Road on the very southern edge of Star. So from this location, there's not a lot of development out there right now. And people are really, really excited about this because you're getting the same lifestyle and the rural, the slower pace of life setup that Star can offer you. But you are now, by going from where State Street is all the way down to Chinden, you are just a few minutes closer to everything that Northwest Meridian, one of my favorite parts of town, has to offer. From Inspirado, you are gonna be just about five minutes away from Costco, Orchard Park, but you're still gonna be just a few minutes away from Downtown Star. Inspirado itself is gonna have just under 200 home sites, and these are gonna be set up into three types of lots. So you're gonna have your patio home lots, which are gonna be a little bit smaller. You're gonna have your luxury home lots, which are gonna be kind of that middle ground, the semi-custom sort of build. And then you're gonna have some that are situated for those fully custom builds, little bit larger on the side, especially some of the view lots on the northern edge of the community on the north rim, overlooking the foothills, downtown star, absolutely gorgeous views. Throughout the community, you're gonna have some pocket parks. You're eventually gonna have a big main kind of gathering area green space in the center of the community that's gonna have pickleball courts. It's gonna have a pool. It's gonna have a pool house. It's gonna have a clubhouse for you to go and use. And then just outside of the community, right off of Star and Chinden on the corner, they have some lots and some areas set up for more of that commercial retail. They want some of those mixed use buildings to like what I talked about Heron River at the very beginning, give you access to some of the things that you're gonna need right in your community. And then with Inspirado located right across Star Road and then just a little bit down, there are gonna be two other communities that are being developed around the same time. One of them is gonna be Star Point. So Star Point's gonna have access to all of the same amenities that Inspirado has to offer, but there are gonna be another 64 lots available over there with some more on that north rim overlooking some great farmland with some nice cows. You're gonna have the foothills in the background again. I cannot hype up these lots enough. And then as you look down from some of those lots, you're gonna see down there, Oak Lawn Crossing. Oak Lawn is gonna have another 65 lots, but these are gonna be set up for high-end patio homes that are gonna be a little bit smaller of a lot, but luxury builds that have pond access. It's gonna have a beach. Everything is set up to take advantage of the neighborhood and the ponds that are offered rather than having a large backyard all to yourself. A Little bit better for the low maintenance folks. Again, they are at the very beginning of all of this development. So pricing right now in Inspirado is going to start around the 600,000s. Star Point, we're going to find it a little bit higher around the 800,000s. And then Oaklawn Crossing, we are still early enough that they have not released pricing yet. So I'll make an update once we get that. But there you go. Overall, those are five of my favorite communities that you should take a look at in Star Idaho. If you have any questions at all about any of them, making the move, building new construction, whatever it is, all of my information is down below. I would absolutely love to help. But until then, watch one of these videos that's popping up and I'll see you all on the next one.